I'm Harvey Briggs. I'm the editor and publisher of Rides and Drives. And today I'm here with the global design director for the Lincoln Motor Company, Kamal Couric. Kamal, thanks for joining me. We're in the all new 2024 Lincoln Nautilus. Tell me a little bit about the inspiration for this and how it's different from what people know about Lincoln right now. Yeah, thank you, Harvey, first of all. Um, as you can see, we are sitting in a um, very different interior for Lincoln, and um, it's a, it was a car that it was led by experiences first. And we really liked that approach of experience first design, really thinking about how um, the customer is going to interact with their vehicles and how this car becomes almost like the third space. And we were thinking about, you know, if they, particularly now post-COVID, um, there were so many situations that people wanted to spend more time in the vehicles for mm -hmm. work, for pleasure, for gaming, even, you know, being able to be in their own sanctuary because this is the safest place that you actually spend inside of your vehicle sometimes. And, um, and you can see the way that we lay out this interior. We put a lot of thoughts into where the positioning is and also creating this very roomy interior. Yeah, it's it's drastically different from the previous generation, especially this screen. Obviously, you can't get away from it. It's massive in terms of the scale. What was the idea behind that and how, what were the challenges you had in executing something like this? Well, the idea behind the display is was really kind of uh, thinking about, you know, the years to come. The cars are becoming so much smarter. Um, we have so many great opportunities now over the air to update the interiors and, and create the content over time. So you can see the way it's cognizant, the way we were uh, laying out even like the driver uh, or where the controls are. You lay them out right at your touch. You have basically on your steering wheel, um, you can control the screens as well, you know, input as well, much, much easier. But one of the big things was, uh, you know, moving the displays really far forward and giving the space, as I mentioned earlier, you can see how much more roominess and legroom we actually achieve. And, and this kind of wraparound uh, really creates this immersive feel. Right. It's, yeah, it feels like the way you've done this, I've got my core driving information right in front of me here some other information that may not be as pertinent over here so i'm not taking my eye away from the road that much uh under you know while i'm driving um how did you think about those things well, we're thinking about like as you just said is like um keeping your eyes on the road you can see there's clearly no obstruction uh, the way the screen is positioned as well as the steering wheel with a flat top mm -hmm. and flat bottom there's unobstructed views from the the entire horizon right um, and you can see we also wanted to share sometimes the content uh, that gives you kind of completely different feel for your passengers as well to enjoy the content and actually be aware you know your navigations um, and your music and uh, uh, surrounding you around so the car becomes much more intelligent is able to actually give some of the information back to the uh, the entire um, occupants all of the occupants great let's talk a little bit about the exterior of the car because it is a new face yep. for Lincoln so talk about that and what the evolution is there. Well, first of all, it is Lincoln. We wanted to make sure it's clearly recognizable as Lincoln. It's an evolution of our Quiet Flight. It's a Quiet Flight 2.0, as we like to call it. It's a much more striking face. At a glance, you will recognize the Lincoln. That was one of the ideas. We wanted to actually take away some of the elements and really focus on the essential. Um, you can see there's no fine of the chrome on the outside, but it's still having a very striking face and uh, quite expressive, you know, to yeah. a certain extent in a, in a, in a jetpack that we sitting inside. Um, it's quite an assertive face and, and that's deliberate. We wanted to attract much more youthful customers. We wanted to not scream for attention, but at the same time, this is the car that is outstanding in a crowd of the cars. Right. This is a very crowded category. One of the things I love is that little signature lighting touch on the side. It almost plays off that wing uh, grill, but it's just a subtle nod, it feels like, to the heritage of the brand. Yeah, that's correct. So even like, you know, given the embrace, we were thinking about the lighting. Um, um, this in-flight gesture that we had previously in, in the, our Lincoln Aviator, you can see the car kind of builds on that, but it's a completely different kind of re rethought the way we're treating the body side. And even the, the logo um, 
the Lincoln Star around it. Everything kind of builds around it. Great. Um, and we really thought about this car. You know, the name was really inspiring for us. Um, if you think about being a captain of your yacht, um, you really get that feeling, um, this, this kind of feeling inside sitting on this car, this openness uh, inside of the interior. That's great. I never really thought about it from that nautical standpoint, but it makes total sense. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for taking a few minutes with me here. Really happy to learn more about this from the person who was responsible for executing it. So congratulations. Thanks I look so forward to seeing it on the road. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you.